What's up everybody, Tactical Production 7 here, back with another Minecraft mod tutorial. Today it will be on the Twilight Forest mod, and if you don't know what this is, I'll go ahead and show you real fast. But um, basically it adds a different variation of the Nether to Minecraft, um, only in the sense that you need to use a portal to get to it, but it is completely different than Nether. Um, it adds like these giant trees, castles, um, there's some mazes you have to go through, different bosses you have to fight, uh, different mobs, and all these are only in the Twilight Forest. So to get to Twilight Forest, what you're going to have to do is create the portal. And to create the portal, you need to build a 2x2 two two hole, just like this, and take a bucket, get some water, and fill the hole with water so it's a solid body of water and not running water. So once you have it like that, what you need to do is place plants around the 2x2 um, two two hole of water. It can be any sort of plant such as grass, mushrooms, flowers, and I think even a tree will work. But I just decided to use flowers just because. Alright, so once you get that done, you're going to want to go ahead and stand back a little bit and just get a diamond and press Q to throw it in, but make sure it actually makes it in there. And once it lands in the water, a bolt of lightning will come down, hit the water, and turn it into a portal. So there you go, you got your portal built. Just go ahead and jump on in. And now I already went into the uh, Twilight Forest before, so my world is, is already created. But what it will do is create a new world for the Twilight Forest, and it randomly generates each world, so no one will have the same Twilight Forest as someone else. So I'm going to go ahead and let the world load up a little bit. Turn fly mode on. It's still loading. Let it load up a little bit more just so I don't have lag. As you can see, I already do. Come on. Alright. Alright, that should be good enough. So let's go ahead and take a little stroll over here. And here's one of the new mobs. It's basically like a boar, just a pig with tusks. It makes the same noise as a pig. Um, and then here's like a deer. This is the other mob. Pretty cool looking. I like the uh, the antlers it's got. So here's the trees. You can see they look awesome. Just almost like uh, jungle type of trees. And then you can see these lights on them. Uh, what these lights are is bugs, like fireflies. And you could break them off the trees. And essentially what they are is torches. So you place them wherever you want, and they'll light the area up just like a torch would. So if we come over here, you can see that there's this giant tree, and this tree is massive. So if you look up, this thing is huge. I think it'd be really cool to make like a tree house out of this. And if we come over here, here's another type of bug not too sure what this is supposed to be used for but it does make some noises and you can break them off and place them in different places just like the firebug so that's the tree that's how massive it is it's way up here I just still I think that would be really cool if someone made like a tree house out of that. And here is a castle. There's another giant tree in the background. Now I don't think we're supposed to be able to get into the castle, um, but you can get into it. As you can see right here, um, they do put spawners for zombies. So as soon as I come in here, they're gonna start coming after me. So let me go ahead and drop down if I can so let's see here comes a zombie right now and he fell so if we go 
and just look around there are a bunch of little separate rooms that don't really have much in them I mean they're they're a little bit odd the rooms but yeah so as you can see they are kind of weird like this is, has a mushroom in it some of them just have a bunch of like bookshelves and stuff so the rooms are just kind of odd they don't really have much to them and then this is just like the very top of the castle so I'm gonna go ahead and cut the uh, preview for the mod here because I don't want to take too long on it so that is what the Twilight Forest mod is so now I need to clear out my Minecraft jar so I'll do that and then I'll be back and show you how to install this okay so what you're gonna need to install this is um, any kind of archiving program such as WinRAR or 7-zip or WinZip but I will be using WinRAR in this tutorial then you're gonna need to download audio mod mod loader and the Twilight Forest mod itself so to get these three things I will go ahead and give you the link to these two pages in the description so first off for the Twilight Forest mod if you go ahead and scroll down um, here's a whole bunch of information on the mod uh, just some pictures of what it adds and uh, little paragraphs about it. Um, here is a the Hollow Hills. I wish I could have found this to show you guys because that'd be kind of cool to show you. Um, here's a maze, and here's like a boss you have to fight. Just a giant snake type of thing. And then here's the giant trees. So, just scroll down until you see download version 1.5 and then you just go ahead and click on this link and it'll automatically download it as soon as you click on that I'm not gonna click on it because I already have it downloaded so that's how you download the Twilight Forest so now to download mod loader and audio mod you're gonna go ahead and come to Rizagami's mods and just scroll down until you see mod loader 1.0.0 and you can either download AdFly or direct whatever you prefer to do I usually tend to do direct because it's a lot easier than AdFly so after you download mod loader, scroll down a little bit more until you see audio mod 1.0.0 and again download AdFly or direct whatever you prefer to do. So that's how you download everything. Then when you're ready to install it, you're going to go ahead and come over to start and type in percent app data percent just like this down here. Then you're going to go ahead and go into your roaming, then your dot minecraft, then into your bin and then you're going to want to left click your minecraft jar then right click it and do open with winrar or whatever archiving program you're going to use drag your minecraft jar to the side now your bin folder we're going to go ahead and close not close it minimize it because we will be coming back to it later so once you have your minecraft jar open go ahead and open up audio mod and highlight all three of these files and drag them into your minecraft jar and hit ok then you can go ahead and close audio mod then open up mod loader and highlight all these class files and drag them into your minecraft jar and hit ok now you can go ahead and close mod loader now open up twilight forest now you do not want to put the resource folder into your minecraft jar so what you're going to need to do is click on the twilight forest folder hold shift and scroll all the way down while holding shift and then click on the last class file and drag all these into your minecraft jar and hit ok so that should have highlighted all the files besides resources so now in your minecraft jar there should be a folder named meta inf if it's, if it's not there uh, you don't need to worry about this step but if it is there go ahead and left click on it then right click and do delete files and hit yes always delete meta inf when you're installing a mod if you don't it'll stop minecraft from working when you install a mod so we're done with the minecraft jar we can go ahead and close that and you should have minimized your bin so bring that back up and just go ahead and hit back so we're now we're back in the dot minecraft folder and take the resources folder from twilight forest and just go ahead and drag it in and hit yes so that is it you are now done installing the twilight forest mod so i hope this helped you guys out thank you for watching and i'll see you guys next time